The genomic revolution is coming, and as Kathy Wood from ARK Invest says, the biggest upside surprises are going to come from the genomic space, and that's because the convergence of DNA sequencing, artificial intelligence, and gene therapies are going to cure disease. Now that is a bold statement from her, and she has made bold statements before, and has been right, so I think we should definitely take that statement seriously. Now I told you guys it was coming, and today's the day. I'm going to go over the whole genomic space, and going to go over two stocks that I think will have massive growth in the future. There will also be two or three bonus stocks that I mentioned in this video that are more than worth checking out a little deeper. Stay tuned for the video, this one is going to be a good one. What is going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I make videos on stocks, investing, and all things personal finance. I post every single day and try to keep you guys up to date with the latest news on the biggest growth stocks. If you are not yet subscribed and are enjoying the content on this channel, hit that red subscribe button to help support the channel. With that said guys, this is industry is moving towards one of my favorites as I hear more and more about it and continue to learn about this space. What I want to do in today's video is first go over some background on genomics and the new technology related to it, what they are, how they work, and most importantly, how is this technology going to change the future. Then I want to go over a few stocks that are also held in the ArcG portfolio that I think will be a big part of the future. Let's get right into it. So what is genomics? Genomics is the study of all of a person's genes and how those genes interact with each other and our own environments. By understanding all of our genes, or genome, scientists can discover secrets embedded in our DNA. This is why genomics can change the whole healthcare industry. With genetics, scientists only look at a single gene, but on the other hand, with genomics, they can examine all the genes that make up an organism, and that helps us to understand human biology at a much deeper level. Thanks to genomics, scientists can now determine at an early age what diseases a person might contract later in life. It also helps doctors detect problems earlier and more accurately to help treat them. Now with genomics compared to normal genetics, this also helps us understand why some people who smoke, never exercise, and eat unhealthy foods live to be 100 years old. Armed with this information, scientists and doctors can better understand how someone will react to a particular drug or treatment that opens the door for personalized or precise medicine. And that's a big one because take a look here at how the healthcare system works right now and it's basically a one size fits all. People with vastly different genetic makeups will end up receiving the same treatment and the same drugs, which ultimately really doesn't make sense. Understanding a person's genetic makeup eliminates much of the guesswork and will help doctors develop tailor-made solutions for every patient. See, how this industry works right now is really not good. It's just not efficient at all. With the technology we have, there shouldn't be guesswork to give patients medicine. One that is bad for the patient because it's not directly tailored to that specific patient's problem. In number two, it is bad for the doctors, nurses, and all medical employees and employers because giving medicine is expensive. The medicine itself is expensive and the doctors and nurses time to give the patients their medicine is expensive as well. In the world is a business so time is money and this is a very costly procedure. And if you have to keep coming back trying different medications the costs just keep adding up. By examining genomes and creating a tailor-made solution for that patient time and money can be saved and I'm sure the patient can be in and out and treated quicker. This is pretty cool cool too. Look at the progress genome mapping has made over the last years. The Human Genome Project took more than 10 years and about 3 billion to map the first human genome. Now compare that to today, we can map a person's DNA in only a few hours for about $1,000. In three years from now, the cost will fall to just about $100. That's one millionth of what it cost two decades ago to do the same thing. When that happens, DNA sequencing will officially go mainstream. By 2025, it is projected that 100 million genomes will be sequenced, and that is up from 2.4 million genomes two years ago. So as you can see, I know this industry has been talked about a lot lately, but it is still at the beginning. This industry is expected to be growing at exponential levels, and there's lots of companies in this space that you can be investing in. As you can see here, as the costs keep going down for these procedures, that's only going to make this more and more popular, especially as well as it works. And this will end up opening a whole new world of understanding. We'll truly be able to understand 
understand diseases on a personal level. Scientists could even use this wave of information to cure cancer, HIV, and many other diseases. And yet, really, this genomics revolution is completely being ignored right now by the mass of investors and people around the world. Again, this is partly because the science of genomics will make most people's head spin. And I agree, it is most definitely confusing, and I know a lot of you were confused in the comment section on some of my videos on other genomics companies. So hopefully this clears it up for you a little and you can understand just a little bit more of how this works. And so you can take a look at here at the progress over the last few years of ArcG's ETF portfolio. We can see really from 2017, looks like beginning 2018 there, all the way until present time, this has been growing and growing. Now, not without some up and downs, but ultimately it always ends up on the upside. And as you can see, it's been really taking off since late 2020. <clears throat> and if I remember correctly, I believe this portfolio is up about 180%. And Kathy Wood from ARK Invest has said multiple times, she thinks this industry could grow even faster than Tesla and the EVs, and we know how bullish she is on Tesla. So that is a big statement for her to say. Now, just like it says here, don't worry if you are not invested yet, genomic stocks are just getting warmed up. Now let's look at the future potential of this technology compared to where it sits today. Genetic factors play a role in nine out of the 10 leading causes of death in the United States, outside of car crashes and other accidents, of course. In many cases, they're the reason people get heart disease cancer, and diabetes. It is also estimated one in five adults may carry disease-related genetic mutations, and yet only 5% of the diseases caused by one gene are treatable today. With gene editing, that number could eventually reach 100%. And according to Kathy Wood, these diseases alone represent a $2 trillion opportunity. The market for diseases caused by multiple genes is significantly larger. And yet it says these three companies here altogether are worth less than eight billion dollars combined now i will say this article was written a little while ago and these companies have had a surge since then so they're worth a lot more than that now but nevertheless still nowhere near this two trillion dollar opportunity that she's talking about and so as you can see there's just such huge potential for this industry and arc invest thinks it is just getting started and this is going to lead me to a few stocks in this space that i want to recommend you guys and the first one is as you can see here crispr so CRISPR Therapeutics is right here, number three in ArcG's portfolio. They have almost 3 million shares at a market value of a little over $400 million. So just about half a billion dollars they have in that company, and that is a ton. And it is also ranked number three in this portfolio, and that really shows you just how much confidence they have in this stock. Now this company is a gene editing company and has been very important area of study lately. So CRISPR stands for Clustered Regularity Inter interspaced short palindromic repeats and basically it is a bacterial defense system that can target specific stretches of genetic code and to edit dna at precise locations as well as for other purposes such as for new diagnostic tools with these systems researchers can permanently modify genes in living cells and organisms and in the future may make it possible to correct mutations at precise locations in the human genome in order to treat genetic causes of disease and that is crazy guys this is some pretty advanced stuff here and as you can see can and will be a big part of the future this company also has pretty good financials and did generate a substantial amount of net income in 2019 now unfortunately the trailing 12 months is not looking good because of everything that happened in 2020 i think they will be right back on track now they also have a ton of assets and hardly any liabilities compared to that if we break it down here, we can see that they have almost a billion dollars in cash and cash equivalents sitting on their books. The company sits right now at pretty close to $160 a share at an $11 billion market cap. Kathy Woods says this is a multi-trillion dollar market and this company could be one of the leaders. Now the next company I want to look at is another one of ARK's top 10 holdings in this portfolio and that is number 9 in Vite Corp. They hold about 6 million shares at a market value of about $250 million. Once again, another giant holding for this company and being number 9 on this list, they are pretty confident in this company so they say by harnessing the power of genetics and technology we can make medical genetics affordable and accessible for everyone improving health care for billions of people we have helped improve care for hundreds of thousands of patients and their providers by driving down the cost of reliable and actionable genetic testing 
our platform provides genetic information for use throughout medicine and throughout life. So I'm not going to go super deep into these companies. I do not want this video to be too long, but definitely leave a comment below if you want to see any or all of these companies in depth. I can definitely make a video on each of them going very in depth and giving a price target for each of them. Now this company is not yet profitable but still has pretty good financials and is in ARK's top 10 holdings which shows they definitely have a lot of faith in this company in the long term. At only $40 a share it is a lot cheaper to get into than CRISPR. Now both of these stocks are going to run away I think as the genomic space continues to pick up and technology continues to improve. So I would definitely keep my eye on both of these stocks, watch where they go in the near future, and I will keep you guys updated on any news released on these companies. Now for a few honorable mentions, I also really like number one on this list, Pacific Biosciences. They are a $25-ish stock right now that has some amazing technology as well, and this is number one in ARK's portfolio. This stock has really taken off in the recent months too. They hold over half a billion dollars in this company. Now the last company is one that ARK does not currently hold, but I think could have a place on this list very soon. And you probably already know what I'm going to say. I have been talking about this a lot on the channel, and that is BNGO Bio Nanogenomics. If you want to learn more on this stock, I can link some of the videos right here. This is one stock with huge potential because of how cheap it is. I recommended this stock somewhere in the $2 to $2.50 range, and I was actually a little late on it just because it is a risky penny stock. But now it almost hit $7 a share today. So as you can see, all around this space is just blowing up, guys. And I think as a lot of big investors continue to get involved in this space, all of these stocks will continue to blow up as long as these companies can keep up their technology and keep increasing sales. So these are just a few stocks that I recommend in this space. There is countless more. Make sure to do your own research. Check out these stocks and some others that you find out. If you like this genomic revolution space, I think these are some great stocks that you need to check out. It is also some stocks that ARK believes in. And that right there just says a ton about the company. Now this space is definitely not for everyone, so make sure to do your own research and make sure it fits in your portfolio. Have a good balance of risk in your portfolio. I cannot stress that enough. Now that is all I have for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos on the top growth stocks. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next one. Fearless.